Hi friends, the uh, caption is every minute matters. If you lose a minute, you can, you know, you may lose millions or lakhs of new neurons in the brain. So every minute or every second matters in acute stroke. And the, you know, be fast, B-E-F-A-S-T. Be fast means the, you know, what's happening in stroke. B means the balance. So suddenly if someone gets acute, sudden onset of balance problem, suddenly he, he can't walk. Or if there is any eye problem, E stands for eye, any sudden loss of vision or uh, double vision or some squinting of eyes. Or if there is a facial drift, F A S T F stands for face, or a facial weakness or a facial droop. Sudden onset. It is not a slow onset over a period of days or weeks. It is it is something else. So sudden onset. Suppose if I uh, speak, you know, suddenly this occurs. That means a sudden onset of facial droop. Secondly, if there is an arm uh, suddenly when you do something, the arm drops down. Like the, your uh, something. If the if there is a mobile phone, this drops. This fall, this fall, falls off. Or this uh, sudden arm weakness. Or if there is a leg weakness, suddenly you feel that you, you, you can't move your legs, suddenly occurring all of a sudden over a second to minutes, it's called a stroke. In that time, you always be sure that you utilize the time window. There is a time window means you have to act in that particular time, right. It means that whenever any patient, that's because this stroke occurs every one in every six seconds, and one in five of females and one out of six in males are getting stroke every uh, one every six seconds throughout the world. So you have to prevent the strokes by awareness, by having a good awareness of what is stroke, how can you prevent stroke, what are the manifestations of stroke, and what are the other factors which would uh, lead to a stroke. Okay, right. So as I mentioned earlier, B fast balance problem, eye problem facial weakness, hand weakness, leg weakness or any speech abnormality suddenly if you if you can't get words or if you can't speak out or is just slurred something like uh, something like that or you you can't understand in all this situation you should know that this is the, that that particular person is getting a stroke. Secondly uh, do you know what is mini stroke? Mini stroke means uh, usually stroke lasts more than 10 minutes and hours like that. But mini stroke means that suddenly you get some facial weakness or a hand weakness and this improves within 10 minutes. It's called a mini stroke. The problem with the mini strokes is that if you don't treat these strokes, this will lead to a major stroke within 48 hours. In around 5% can have a major stroke in 48 hours. And even up to 5 years, there's a high chance of getting stroke up to 25% of the population. So we, we have to treat even mini stroke, major stroke, may or any types of stroke. All right. So how do once you know that is a stroke, don't wait at home or you should you should not waste your time in the uh, small hospitals or uh, you know or in the scan centers. Immediately take you know you should go to a major hospital. Private medical, either can be a government hospital, can be a private hospital, or any hospital where you can get this treatment for stroke. The acute treatment would be a thrombolytic therapy. The thrombolytic therapy means it may, it might be a, uh, you know, actylase or it can be a, a tenectase. This has to be given within 4.5 hours of the onset of stroke. The first hour is called a golden hour because if you lose uh, minutes. You can uh, you can save uh, your if you save minutes you can save millions of new neurons of brain so that is the most important factor so you shouldn't wait and waste time so always uh, make use of your all the amenities you do a CT scan or a CT angiogram or uh, if you don't if you're not sure of the time then you can always go for a MRI because MRI can pick the stroke within ten minutes and. Uh, Immediately you should assess, they, they, you should go to a hospital, they, they will assess what is the, uh, the safe severity of the stroke, it's a mild stroke, moderate stroke or safe severe stroke and there is one scale called NIHS, it's, okay, it's a National Institute of Stroke Scale, severity and then you know you should ask for a CT brain because it's basically to rule out other cause like you know like uh, some bleeding or subdural hemorrhage or tumours or some demyelination. So you have to find out that this stroke only. 
and secondly once you know that it's a stroke you have to take a CT angiogram from that hospital to see whether there's any vessel is getting occluded like a you know, large vessel occlusion in that case you have to in addition to, in, you have to have something else in addition to the thromb thrombolytic therapy is called a endovascular treatment so uh, the thrombolytic therapy within 4.5 hours or if there is a vessel occlusion you have to treat immediately there is no one hour two or three or four window you have to the moment you reach the hospital ct with the ct angiogram if there is vessel occlusion immediately take the, take the patient to a cath lab and try to remove the clot because usually there will be a massive clot it's called a uh, you know the clot gets occlu occluded to a major stem called a middle cellular artery occlusion internal carotid artery occlusion or basilar artery occlusion. So, it can be many, many arteries can get affected in the, in the brain. So, you have to remove the clots en masse by either by a thrombectomy or by a solter or some other stents, or you can remove the clot by a penumbra aspiration. So, as I've mentioned, you have to treat immediately, don't waste time. If you lose time, the brain gets damaged. It is unlike in a heart attack where you perceive pain, you get some pain and immediately you take the patient to a hospital and you get treated. Brain on the other hand, poor brain is like that, you know, even if you get a massive straw, there won't be any pain. They just be silent, they wouldn't move the limbs and they wouldn't understand you, they wouldn't hear you, they, they may be either drowsy or comatose. And uh, if they are awake, they, they won't complain because sometimes if the, the, the left side of the brain is affected, they, they lose uh, speech. If the right side of the brain is affected, they lose interest or they will be disoriented or uh, you know, they will have a neglect of the weakness on the opposite side. So that is the scenario in case of stroke. So the, the caregiver or the bystander or the family member should immediately make sure that it is a stroke. Okay. So what are the various risk factors that you should be careful? You have to treat hyper high blood pressure very diligently because if you reduce your systolic blood pressure by 10 or diastolic blood pressure by 5, you could reduce the incidence of stroke by 38 percentage. That's a huge number. So the most important is hypertension. You should stop smoking. Yeah, you should treat high blood pressure. You should treat uh, high cholesterol and high blood sugar, stop smoking, stop alcohol intake, reduce your weight, do regular exercises and uh, if you are sedentary you should move, move out, you know, you should walk in, in the inside the room or you can, uh, you can stroll in between and always uh, avoid stress and other factors. If there are any cardiac illness like any, any clot in the heart or if there is a, any wall motion abnormalities of, or if there is any uh, spontaneous echo contrast or if there is any rhythm disturbance like atrial fibrillation you have to treat accordingly or if there are any problem in the blood vessels in the, in the, in the neck it's called a carotid arteries or vertebral arteries you have to treat it by uh, either a angioplasty and stending or by entartectomy so there are so many other conditions I am not going to the final details of all these things so basically I just want to tell you that stroke is a common condition you can prevent stroke and once you feel that is stroke immediately take the patient to a nearby hospital where the CT scan is available and the thrombolytic therapy is available don't waste time and never ever wait in acute stroke okay that's the most important because the time matters every minute matters if you lose time you lose hundreds of millions of neurons in, in, in your brain and with with each stroke you lose years of your life years of your life and this would affect your quality of life, your speech, your uh, motor function, your uh, balance function, your, your eye function, your swallowing function, your speech function. Everything can be affected depending on the area of brain affected. So there is utmost important that you try to understand what is stroke. And uh, the, because the a sad fact is that only 2% of the population receive thrombolytic therapy in India. Hardly 2%. That means there's a huge, uh, you know, gap is there. The treatment gap is there for the stroke patient. So you have to have a intense, uh, you know, propaganda for them. Not it's not for us. We we are not we are not bothered. But we have, as a, as a, as a citizen, as a fellow citizen among you, I have to tell you that you should know what is stroke. You should treat stroke because you know 
you have to have a healthy hearty life ahead because I tell you to the whole person it is not for um, any locality my locality or other locality it is immaterial okay so you have to have a high level of awareness uh, about stroke you should take trade treatment immediately from the local hospital can be anywhere can be in, in, in India outside India or anywhere the motto the message is very simple don't wait and don't waste okay and uh, if you lose time you would lose millions of new uh, new neurons in, in the brain and this will uh, this will be a catastrophic for the particular patient as well as for the family the society and the country at large okay so with a few words let me conclude here thank you thank you very much